Well, no one needs to get spiffied up for the Boss Reseller Remix. So, I'm dropping him off at Sports Clips and I'm going to Goodwill. So there's your before. I'm looking at this and just thinking, you know what, stand by. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. It just so happens there is a Goodwill right across the street from the place where Noah's getting his hair cut. So I have to get in here and shop quickly because I have to pick him up in not too long of a time. And it's liable to be a little crowded because it is Dollar Monday, meaning the color from last week is now a dollar today. I generally don't come here in the mornings, but hey, you do what you got to do, right? So let's get in there and let's get shop done. And I guess we will just take our lucky cart right here from outside so that we can get another one of these carts inside. All right, let's go get a refresher on. Oh, it's a good thing I got a cart because there are none over here. Oh, it's purple. Purple is our color. Oh, my timing couldn't be better. Look what they are bringing out right now. A whole new cart of stuff. Oh, people are already grabbing at it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get in here. Fake fruit. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Down on the bottom here. Too exciting. It's kind of cute. Oh boy, I don't do well when people are just like kind of like going at it and grabbing stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk away from that and I am going to head over to the first aisle of goodies and see what we've got. Little cups. Not sure what those are for. They're kind of cool though, aren't they? Five dollars, and there's six of them. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna get those, but I'm gonna look at this little glass Christmas tree. It's a nice one. I don't usually when I find these, they're broken. It's somewhere, and I've got to feel every single point to make sure. No, this one is not broken. Okay, we're gonna get a little glass glass Christmas tree. Looks like they are putting out their Christmas stuff now. They've cleared some aisles for it. Kind of scary, actually. Those are, those are flash. See how scratched up those are? Whew. If those were really like ruby red glasses, I would probably want to get them. It's a cutie. It's an Odagiri. It's missing its little, little winder. Ah, uh, we'll have to leave that. Yeah, they're definitely getting ready to stock these up with Christmas goodies. But in the meantime, we'll just go to the next aisle. I see a couple of interesting things up here. This candle holder for $1.99. It's quite nice. I don't pick up a lot of candle holders generally throughout the year, um, but when we get closer to Christmas time, it is a staple decoration. And this one has a really nice look to it. Really nice look to it. So for $1.99, we're gonna pick that one up. So down here, oh, that's a nice little, oh, 1979. Oh, that's a very sweet. Like that, that just, this, this piece, it's just it was given to someone in love it's got love attached to it I like that and we've got you know provenance um, it is in good shape and it is a 1977 
Magnus, Magnus. All right, all right. Two ninety nine. We'll take that. That's a pretty good start that we've got going. I see this plate. It almost looked like Hadley for a minute. Let's see. Oh goodness, they put that sticker right over the mark. We'll see if we can peel it nicely and look and see the maker. Uh, oh, it's, oh, okay. That's why it looks like Hadley because it's Louisville stoneware, which is about the same quality. For $1.99, we're gonna pick that up. And to come back up here and look at this heart, see if it was signed. It is not. Okay, just wanted to make sure that wasn't a signed piece. That's a really nice daisy and button pattern etched little crystal bowl. It's not like American Brilliant or anything. It's actually pressed glass, but it's a lovely piece of pressed glass. I do wish the uh, the clear, the, the vintage antique clear glass would really make a good comeback. I I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this piece. I think it's just really nice. All right, let's see, little palm tree guy, cross sill home. Oh, you're you're like a toothbrush holder. That's what you are. Little giraffes. I get a lot of requests for giraffe items. Unfortunately, this guy's got a really bad boo boo. Or we'd pick him up, even though he's not like a, you know, a big profitable item sometimes just finding those things that your customers really really like is just good customer service that looks like an older piece i don't see i don't see a mark the hands the hands are broken that's too bad i would have picked her up for 99 cents if she didn't have broken hands that is a Bunnykins. Yes, it is. Royal Dalton Bunnykins for $4.99. These have kind of gone all over the place in value lately, but I think I'm going to pick this one up. It looks like an older piece. Oh, wait, let me just scope that out right there. Mm. Oh, it's wax. It's got wax on it. Why does it have wax on it? That's so weird. Okay, that'll clean off. It's not chipping. Yeah, yeah. We'll pick up the little Bunnykins bowl. Let's look at these flowers. They're from Target. They're fun though, aren't they? Fun Target flowers. Torn, torn on these. I feel like people would still want these. I mean, not everybody can get to Target. That's why people order stuff online, right? I just don't know how much they were originally at Target. They, I mean, they're from 2016, so they may not even be at Target anymore. I feel like if they're not worth reselling, I could do something with these. So I'm going to pick them up. $2.99 for these two and $3.99 for those three. Oh, we got a, a basket here that's like the banana frond. It's in really rough shape. I do like the leaf bowls back here. Hallmark. It's a really nice fall decor. Ooh, what is that? Himalayan salt something. Oh no. Ro huh? Oh, it's a recipe. I'm reading a recipe. Himalayan salt cooking plate and serving tray is what that is. That's kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting, but I don't think we would ever use it, but it might be worth uh, seeing what it's worth. Oh, are you blue sky? You look very blue sky, but I don't think you are. You are department 56, which is just as good for $5.99. All right, let's grab that. All right, I'm kind of glad I came here this morning, finding some fun stuff just right in the first row. Like, look how cool these are. There's that one, and then there's a larger one. They're not signed, but it almost looks like they were made with real flowers. Yeah, I really, I really like these. They're like pressed flower pottery tiles that could go outside in a patio or a garden. I'm, I'm gonna pick them up. That one's $2.99. And this one, 
is $1.99. Yay. That's a cute little planter. It's $2.99. It's probably worth about 10 bucks. Eight to 10, I would say. You guys, candles, your candles. Got a big chili pep, bell pep, chili pepper, bell pepper. I knew it was a bell pepper. I don't know why I even started to say chili pepper because the brain just does that sometimes. Hop on in, that's cute. And okay, first row, done. I guess technically that was not the first row because the little Christmas row was the first row. It was the first substantial row. This is cool. I do a lot of these little um, primitive looking artwork and they sell really well. They're like vintage inspired. He's only $2.99. We're going to grab him. Let's see what else is on this shelf. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Life is a bowl of cherries. That's fun. $3.99 for that one. That's a really bright and cheerful, like a kitchen plaque for $3.99. I will grab that too. When all else fails, hug your dog. Ain't that for sure. Oh, I tell you, I'm, uh, I'm really starting to learn my customer base over in my nicheladyshop.com. That's why I like veering for a little bit different things, maybe sometimes than I normally would, because I'm like testing the waters. Like, ooh, these guys are cool. Oh, he's got a broken horn. They are hand carved in Kenya. That's a bummer. They both have broken horns. Look at that. Both of them have a broken horn. That is a shame. I'm looking at this and just thinking, you know what? Stand by. You know what I'm doing, right? You know what I'm doing. I really believe these are meant to go with this. Let's see. Is it a match? Oh, it, I think it is. See, you got, you got this shape, this shape. I don't know. Even if it's not meant to be together, I feel like they need to be together. I mean, somebody would probably buy those together. Look at this. Oh my. Oh, he's really, really split and damaged and oh, you poor little guy. I'm not so worried about the the, dis, the the wear on the wood because that can get brought back. That split though, oh my, that's a bad split. Mm, all right, little guy, I'm gonna let you sit here and wait for somebody who might be able to spend more time on you. Let's see what we've got here. Nice bowls, look at those nice wood bowls. <gasps> oh. They're in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of wear on some of the edges. All right, I'm gonna leave those, I'm gonna leave those. They are not bad though, not bad at all. That's an interesting mask. It's got like some brass overlay, but it's damaged. That's too bad. Hmm, that's a cool, like a marquetry bowl. It needs a little, a little oiling, a little work. I'm going to leave that for somebody who has time to do that. I definitely don't have time this week. I'm going to the Boss Reseller Remix all week and trying to keep up on everything else that I have to do. Uh, yeah, throwing extra is just not in the cards. This is dated 1998 little box and it looks it looks like the 90s holy moly I wasn't even paying attention they brought out three more carts where was I okay let's take a peek at these carts real quick okay not seeing anything except maybe that I don't normally veer towards the metal wares but that one has a good look to it it's got some like glue on there yeah I don't think it's as old as I thought it was all right we're gonna leave that 
I see some glass flowers. <gasps> Oops. They are $2.99 each. They are dirty. Definitely need a little cleaning, but we've got four glass flowers. Let's see what's on this one. Ooh, I am grabbing these. My favorite kind of martini glasses to find. Those are fantastic. We're gonna get those. Some of this looks like it could be some good crystal. Like especially this one. That looks like Waterford. Looking for a mark. I don't see it right offhand, but I feel like this could be good. Hmm. That one too has a nice feel. They all have a nice feel to them. The price isn't bad. Four nine five five ninety nine on that one. I don't. Gosh, I don't see a mark. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna come back to it. If it's if it's meant to be, it'll still be here waiting for me. Cause I have to think. I have to think about it. I have to. I have to think about those. Okay, we are back to our regularly scheduled row after that little foray. It's always fun to be here when they're bringing out oodles of carts of things. We've got Eiffel Tower bookends from 09. They don't even have much weight to them. I'm not, I'm not super impressed. How much are they? How much are they? How much are they? Oh, they slide together. That's kind of cool. So it's $5.99 each, each, even though, you know, they're a set. I don't know. I might regret not picking those up, but I don't think so. Give me an R. I know I haven't done that for a while. It's just, not that I purposely not done it for a while. I just, uh, haven't really come across any cool letters, but then here's two in one day. Give me an H. Okay, I got that out of my system now. That is $9.99. Not really that exciting to me. These are vintage. Probably like from home interiors once upon a time. $3.99 each. Not a bad price on those. It just, again, not a super exciting thing for me. Boy, if you want to make a whole bunch of mini muffins there, there is your pan. Ooh, they kind of bumped up where the, uh, kind of some of the household items and the pet supplies are doing a little, doing a little testing, seeing if maybe they can sell more. This is a Scentsy. It is the deep blue sea, but it looks like it's missing most Unless it's not meant to be a plug-in warmer. Let's see. It's a... What is it? Easy. Never choose your product. Da, 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 da. Oh. Oh, it looks like it came on like a subscription plan. Oh, he's magnetic. Oh, the fishies go like wherever you want them to go. Oh, he's broken. Okay. I don't know. I don't know much about that one. Huh. We can learn something. Got a bag of shells. I'm actually looking for some shells again for some new hermit crabs. They got some little teeny tiny baby ones that are gonna need some a little bit medium sized shells to grow into. That's very cheap, very cheap glass right there. So we will pass on that. But look at their, they moved kind of their home decor vases and such closer to the to the inside edge. That's an interesting little piece with its gold gilt on it. It's very broken at the bottom though. That's that's too bad. All right, we're gonna leave you. We will keep looking. Lots of clear, lots of clear vases. Generally don't find anything there, but we always give it a look. All right, and the plastics. Not seeing anything too exciting. Well, nothing in the plastics. 
see. They've moved up the crafting stuff too. They're kind of doing a lot of rearranging. That'll be interesting. I'm all about mixing it up. These are Aloha coasters for $4.99. I'm not really a big fan of those. Okay, we got a a dolphin bowl. I'm trying to make out is it Acapulco? Acapulco. It's four ninety nine. Hmm. Okay. Nothing else in our bowls and plates today. All right. Cookware. Cookware. Let's see what we've got. Got somebody else's lucky carts abandoned in the aisle. It must not have been so lucky. Oh, I think I need to pick up a couple more bags of these duckies because they're selling. I am selling duckies out of the nicheladyshop.com. If you want some little rubber duckies, some butterfly duckies, come on over and get them. They're in there. Is that wallpaper? It is wallpaper. What's the trend? Is wallpaper coming back, going away? What What is the decorating trend with wallpaper to those of you who are in that world? It's hard to keep up, hard to keep up with the trends. I wanna see what they moved over here. They moved the mugs over here. That's right, mugs used to be over there. Hmm. I guess I'm okay with that. I mean, I look at everything, so it doesn't really matter to me where they put it. Is this a Sandra Boynton? It is. That one's in pretty good shape, and it's musical birds, and it's only 99 cents. That one we're going to pick up. I think that was it in the mugs. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Martin Luther King Jr. Ooh, very, very timely mug. Just $3.99 now. This is by Kent Pottery. This is a scruffy dog, licky tongue, terrible terrier, lots of fun. <laughs> it's like a little Jack Russell terrier. It's pretty scratched up. No, uh, it's, he's pretty scratched up. I'm going to leave him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all the Jack Russell fans. Those are nice, but again, also very, very scratched up. Wow. Okay. Oh my gosh. There is a humongous pair of swan planters down here. Now, this is not the type of thing that really sells out of my boutique booth. So I, I mean, this, in this case, it's not something I want to ship. It's not something that my local clientele really veers towards so I will leave those even though they may have tremendous resale value just not for me that's why we all have our niche or our niche as many would say those are kind of cool and there are a pair of them I noticed they look like really good quality glassware nice just not for us. All right. Looks like we are going to keep going. All right. Now we turn around and we've got housewares over here. Look at those canisters. Now those are cute. Ooh, who makes you? The Halden Group made in Japan. So it's 15 for the little one, 15 for the medium size one. Oh, it's dangerous putting those prices on the bottom. 20, and I'm going to guesstimate that that one's 20. So you're looking at uh, 40, 50, $70 to get this set of canisters. I don't know what they're worth, but uh, we definitely can't pay that. Oh, it's got little kitty cats and butterflies. 
They feel like stickers though, but it says it's Reuben glass. That's interesting. So what I think is going on here is they polished out everything else to just leave these kind of rough because you can feel the texture of them. I've never seen Reuben glass with kitty cats and butterflies, but we're gonna get that for $7.99. All right, I kind of lost count of how many things are in my card. I do try to keep it under 15 items to deal with, but honestly, everything is so good that I'm putting in the card, it would be really hard to toss something back today. That is a great piece to use for one of my projects. I just am not super thrilled with the $4 price, but because it's blue, I'm going to go with it. Let's take a peek at this marble bowl. Bowl. Fruit bowl. I guess it is a fruit bowl. Okay, I don't see any mark on it. It's only, why is this only $7.99? I'm trying to figure out why. This is only $7.99, it's, it's kind of gorgeous. Um, there we go, that's going in the cart too. Let's see what we got up here. Ejection chess board game? How do you play ejection chess? Um, okay. Uh, I, I'm looking right at it and I still can't tell you how you play chess, ejection, ejection chess, whatever you call it. All right, they have their office supplies down here now. And then they still have their sporting goods on this side. I think I like, I, I like the, uh, the new arrangement. I think I'm digging it. But I'm not finding anything down here. Okie dokie, lamps, lamps, lamps. Little lighthouses are cute. This is probably a touch lamp with the Native Americans on it. That might actually have some value. It's not my thing. I wouldn't want to ship it, but um, somebody else might. Take a quick peek down this way. That's really a cute little lamp clock. This is normally where you find the Scentsies. And I'm not seeing any today. Nope. Oh, look at that. 30 bucks for the little, little doll. It's a doll buggy, definitely for a doll. That's sweet. I like that, but not for 30 and no place to go with it right now. All right, let's take a peek through some art. Oh, that's kind of cool. A little string art cactus. Lots of cool stuff. Hmm, no, nothing. Nothing worth picking up for resale. Cool stuff, but nothing worth picking up for resale. Oh, I'm stuck on something over here. Okay, I got it. Ooh, I do see something worth picking up for resale. We've got a little DeGrazia. Now, is it really that kind of discolored and washed out? I feel like it is. Like this was probably placed near a window. See all the discoloration? That is a bummer. It is only $4.99. It's, part of me is wondering if it's like the acrylic that is discolored and the print might still be okay, but it's a risk. It's a definite risk. Or somebody might just like the muted colors. I mean, it's not like faded faded. It's just like the colors of kind of changed. You know what? For five bucks, I'm going to go ahead and get it. I really like that print too, but I have absolutely no place to go with big art, but that's really, really nice. So they did have another DeGrazia, but uh, what I did, since she had that big one, I went ahead and gave her the smaller one. She gladly took it and I'm okay with that. So now I don't have to wrestle over it. Because sometimes it's just nice to pay it forward. 
I'm in the linens, pillow covers, and such. I did already sell those placemats that I got a video or two ago. So, like I said, I love buying and selling placemats. Nothing easier to ship than a placemat. The tablecloths and such. That's a nice table runner for fall with the cornucopia. It's $3.99. Nice and clean. I think I'm going to pick that up too. This store is definitely hustling and bustling this morning. I'm not a big crowd person. That's why I generally don't come here in the mornings, especially on a sale morning. It's just not really my cup of tea. But uh, sometimes you do what you got to do when the time allows. All right, let's check out purses. This Mondani. Nope. I mean, if we found one that had a purple tag, it would be just one dollar. Is there anything left here at just one dollar? Stranger things have happened. Hmm, not even seeing anything with any color tag that's really exciting me. Down here, I think what happens is they take most of their good purses and they put them online. They don't end up in the stores. That's kind of cute, but not for $12.99. All right, let's see if there's anything new and exciting in the jewelry case. Oh my gosh, look at this cowboy. Look at this whole like a cowboy kind of thing going on there. That's interesting. I, I think I want to look at that one. Let's see what else looks interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe that one. Yeah, that's cute with the little chippy gemstones. I kind of like that. We've got quite a line of people. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get help over here. But we're hoping. We're hoping. I did hear them call earlier to get somebody over to the jewelry. So hopefully they can get someone over. Look on this side. I kind of like those. Oh. Those are interesting. With the bowls. Mm, I don't think that's actually vintage. That little purple glass beaded number right there. We'll pull that out and look. That bracelet right there is interesting. We'll pull it out. All right, there's a, there's a few things to pull out and look at. Stand by, we just got to wait for some help. Yeah, I was gonna look at that one. <laughs> I waited a long time. All right, they took the cowboy from me. Put the things you These say are yes cool, these are, here. okay, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Um, these are Leo, very, very specific. This is kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna put that one back. No, I'm gonna put it back. She's over there like pulling pieces that I was gonna go over there and look at. It's a little disheartening. Yeah, literally, there's a lady pulling like every piece over there that I was going to look at because they didn't go in order. Yeah. All right. I think I'll, I will get this one. All right. So I scrambled to get some things to look at over here. This has an interesting little clasp on it. And it's like little amethyst chips. All right. How much is that one? It's Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Let's see. I think that might say 925. 
think so. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to do 10 bucks on that one. I pulled this one out to look at. Look at this. It's got this cool kind of cheetah. But it's very cheaply made. It's very costumey. Then this piece. Looks like someone's project. It's not a really nice stone on there. And these are like cheaper, cheaper chippies, we should call them. Okay, we're gonna put that back. Uh, let's see if there was anything else. Now I don't remember what else I wanted to look at. Hmm. All right, I think I got, I got the best one out of here. All right, well, at least I got a couple pieces. Oh my gosh, I don't know why people just have to act like vultures you know clearly she saw me standing there for a very long time waiting for help and just scooped in and started grabbing up everything that she had seen me pointing to and talking about like that's so rude I'm really having trouble with rude people lately it's very discouraging and yet then it's like a test it's a test that you you must still stay kind and stay true to uh, that uh, message of love, right? Mm. Okay, did did lose my patience just a little bit there, so. All right, I cannot wait to see how Noah turned out. We're gonna check out, we're gonna get over there and see, and then we're gonna do a recap of everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. moment you've been waiting for. Look at how handsome he is. The wind yeah. messed it up a little bit. It's windy out. He's all cleaned up. But it looks much better and uh, hopefully it'll stay until tomorrow. <laughs> it'll stay. <laughs> all right now go be profitable and make it fun. Make it fun.